Hello everyone, Mr. Happy here, and in this video, I want to discuss a hot topic that has come up in the past couple of days regarding Final Fantasy XIV and the Xbox One. Now, quite some time ago, I did a video, or at least I mentioned in a video, that I didn't think that Final Fantasy XIV would ever come to the Xbox One. Now, Xbox and Microsoft have a lot of policies that don't really match with a lot of game developers out there, but there's two in particular that affected Final Fantasy XIV. The first one was that... Microsoft kind of likes to have their own servers when it comes to Xbox games. That means that there's no cross-play available. Very few games actually do have cross-play, and we're going to be talking about that here in a few minutes. The other issue was that Xbox Gold being required for all online games, something that PlayStation Plus doesn't need. You don't need PlayStation Plus for Final Fantasy XIV on the PlayStation 4. Well, we might finally be making some headway on that topic. Microsoft, or Xbox One I should say, has changed their policies regarding cross-platform play, and they will be allowing it to some degree. If you want to read up on the exact changes, I highly recommend you check the description of the video. But Rocket League, one of the most popular games, uh, multiplayer games I should say, is going to be one of the first games to sort of embrace this new policy that Microsoft allows people to opt into. Now that means that Rocket League will be able to be played across PlayStation 4, PC, and Xbox One, which is a pretty big deal considering the policies and the way they've been up to this point. And, of course, with crossplay becoming a thing now, everybody looks towards Square Enix and Final Fantasy XIV, especially the longtime fans of the game who have been waiting pretty long for the game to hit the Xbox One. Somebody tweeted at Phil Spencer, and he actually said that he'd love to see Final Fantasy XIV on the Xbox One, which is pretty strange considering the difficulties with getting it there in the first place. But with the policy changes, hopefully this will mean a step in the right direction. Obviously, the Xbox Gold problem is still something that needs to be overcome, and I'm not sure where they are in negotiations with that, or if that's a negotiation that can really be hashed out. I remember somebody telling me there are other games on the Xbox that don't require Gold, but I can't remember any of them off the top of my head. Now, I for one am always open to the idea of my go-to MMO being on as many platforms as possible. Some people are afraid that the Xbox community shouldn't be welcome in Final Fantasy XIV, that it's going to be toxic. Listen. The PC community, the PS4 community, the gaming community as a whole has a percentage of toxic players. Yes, is the Xbox known for like FPS games like Call of Duty and you know the whole, oh, it's just another 12 year old who's talking shit over the internet. Yeah, it's known for that in FPS games. That being said, not everyone who owns an Xbox is an asshole. So I'm actually kind of okay with this. Not kind of okay, I am okay with this. I'm glad that it sounds like it's a possibility now. I'm just hoping that it makes it past the, well, that would be a great idea step, because just because it would be a great idea doesn't mean it's going to happen. So I think that with these recent policy changes, I th I'm pretty sure that we're going to see this on the Xbox One before the end of the year. I would be surprised at this point if Naoki Yoshida checks in on us, says, yes, we're in talks, and no, we haven't come to an agreement on the other thing. I feel like at some point this year, you are going to see, if not next year, maybe when the expansion launches, or maybe just before the expansion launches, you just may be seeing Final Fantasy XIV on the Xbox One, finally. So let me know what you think about the Final, about the Final Fantasy XIV, about Final Fantasy XIV hitting the Xbox One, or the possibilities of it at the very least. Be sure to leave your comments in the comment section of the video below, and be sure to voice all of your thoughts regarding this. Anyway, also be sure to like, favorite, subscribe, and share, and stay tuned for the latest in Final Fantasy XIV news, videos, guides, all that fun stuff, as well as some of the other videos I put on my channel. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one, and until then, take care.